Today I'm going to show what the line of engine vanity covers from Paint Mods looks like for a Veloster N. I'm also going to show how to install each of the pieces. My wife wanted to dress up her engine bay with covers that were gloss black and didn't have any type of branding all over them. During her search, she found covers from Paint Mods, which is a UK-based company that offers a wide range of engine bay covers. Each piece can be had in multiple colors, and they even offer specific decals and end badges to complement each cover. If you're interested in ordering some of their products, I will have a link to their website in the video description. I'm not sponsored in any way by Paint Mods, nor did I receive their products for free or at a discount. My wife ended up purchasing a cover for the battery, fuse box, coolant tank, coolant tank cap, and washer fluid cap. This covers almost all the products Paint Mods sells for the Veloster N, except for the oil cap. We plasti dipped the oil cap gloss black, so we had no need for the cover. The pieces came well protected and packaged. There are two different installation methods depending on which piece that you're installing. The first method is double-sided tape and the second is Velcro. Both methods are easy to do. Before you begin, make sure you clean the top of each engine piece that will have a cover installed on the top of it. Next, I would suggest testing the fitment of each cover. We tested the battery and fuse box covers first. We then moved over to the coolant tank and cap. Finally, we tested the washer fluid cap. All the covers fit nicely and looked good in the engine bay. After testing all the pieces, we began the installation process. We began with the coolant tank. This cover has no reason to be removed after installation, so it is installed by using four circular pieces of 3M double-sided tape. These circles are placed on the top four corners of the coolant tank. I would suggest before setting the cover in place, you peel back some of the clear protective film. This will help to protect the piece while you're installing it, but it will also make it easier to remove the film once the piece has been installed. Install the cover onto the coolant tank. Press down onto the cover firmly, but not too firmly, on each of the four corners where the double-sided tape has been installed. The coolant tank's cap is held into place by Velcro. This is so that you can install the factory cap correctly onto the tank since the cover doesn't provide good grip to do so. Simply peel the Velcro off the cover and install it in the middle of the factory cap. Screw the cap back onto the coolant tank and press the cover onto the cap. Once the cover has been installed, remove the protective film. Next, we installed the washer fluid cap. This cap is held into place by two pieces of 3M double-sided tape. Peel the backing off the tape and press the cover onto the washer fluid cap. Remove the protective film. Now for the fuse box and battery cover. Both covers have two strips of Velcro that need to be positioned and installed. We began with the fuse box cover. I peeled off the backing of the Velcro and set the cover on top of the fuse box. I then pressed the cover down firmly to ensure that the Velcro is stuck to the fuse box. I pulled the cover up to make sure that the Velcro was attached properly to the fuse box. Finally, I removed the protective film and reinstalled the cover onto the fuse box.
Finally, I installed the battery cover the same way I installed the fuse box cover. The only difference between the two was that I found I needed to peel up the Velcro and reposition it slightly on the battery to ensure proper fitment. My wife decided to add a little flare to the battery cover by adding a custom decal to show off her support for N75 Motorsports. All in all, these covers added a nice look to the Veloster's engine bay. I liked the gloss black look, which matched the center section my wife added to her engine cover. I tried to order parts for my Elantra, but unfortunately they didn't make covers for the Elantra. However, I did have my wife dress up my engine cover with the same decal set as she did for her engine cover. If you're looking to dress up your Veloster's engine bay, check out Paint Mods. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content.